what will he do next is the question, and he's still out there. It all started when he was caught stealing a car on a doorbell video. Then we heard from the woman with a protection order against him who fears for her life every day he spends free. Tonight, James Holmes is still on the run. Our Tara Molina continues to investigate his crime spree. Tara, he's racking up more felony warrants into Page County. Erica, two more filed today for stealing a credit card and using it. He's now wanted by at least five different departments tonight two weeks since he was caught stealing a car on that doorbell camera. This car theft caught on a Wheaton family's doorbell camera. What is going on? He left it and I think took another person's car. Our first time reporting on James Holmes. <laughs> Crazy thinking back now. And the crime spree he's accused of spanning cities, villages, counties. We found he's wanted by at least five police and sheriff's departments for drugs, domestic battery, aggravated domestic battery, vehicle theft, aggravated assault of an officer, driving with a revoked license, and now with new charges filed in DuPage County today, unlawful possession and use of a credit card. He needs to be caught. This woman in silhouette has an emergency protection order against Holmes. I thought at that point in time, like, am I going to die? <laughs> but says he's broken that order to follow her, beat her, destroy her car, and threatened to kill her. Something we found he's done before. This is from 2014, when Holmes was arrested by Chicago police for violating an order of protection a different woman had against him. What will he do next is the question, and he's still out there. This woman's hope? He's brought in before any more charges are filed. I hear stories all the time where domestics, you know, and at that point in time, nothing's done. Someone shot or killed. Tonight, there are at least six warrants out for his arrest, just two of the three in DuPage County, totaling $175,000. Reporting live at the control room tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News.